Hello everybody and welcome to another Guy Let's Play Jade Empire. When we last saw our heroes, uh, Angelus had a stage debut, it seems. A stage theater debut, which I'm not going to comment on because we will never mention it ever again. Ever. Again. But after that dramatic display, we continued on and um, took care of finishing up the second tasks that was given us to second side quest with Ho and Tao to get us on the good side with the Lotus Assassins. And now we are about to go into the City of the Dead, the Necropolis. So yeah, are you ready to go with us, OnStar? Because this is your thing, girl. This is where you get to shine because you're the chick that, you know, senses dead people. I am honored that you have chosen me. Well, good, because I think this, this mission is going to be right up your alley. So let's let's make let's go right into it, shall we? I just found out guys that the um configuration of the horse is actually is a duplicate. There are two in the game and I just ended up finding the second one, so we're not going to I'm glad. They specifically told us also not to to wrap up things. It sounded like they wanted us to wrap things up before Fading Moon is still at large. So we still have that to do too. But I think all of that is happening inside of the Necropolis. So we're gonna go to the Necropolis and it'll be awesome. There's Sky again, he he he. Um, let's see. Okay. Hey, Necropolis Guard. What can I do for you, citizen? Um, I think I already asked you all of this. Yeah. Stay away from the necropolis. Well, I need to go to the necropolis. So, there. Gravedigger Shen buries the dead in the necropolis, despite their tendency to refuse to remain in their graves. Okay. I dig. I mean, yeah, I dig. Get it? Get <laughs> I didn't do that on purpose, I swear, guys. I just said it. And it just... kind of... yeah. Anyway, moving right along. Come on, OnStar. Let's go up these creepy, creepy... Ooh. Look at the pretty glowing green spirits. Ooh. What do we have here? Kill. Uh, uh, how about not? Oh. Take that. Take that. Eat Stone Immortal. 145 XP. Ooh. Oh, I get it. The uh, powerful Earth thing doesn't work because he's flying. That makes sense. That makes sense. It doesn't reach him because he's flying. Good game. Good, good notice of detail. What do we have here? Well, stranger, <laughs> you have some spirit to you. You fight like a demon. Those poor lost souls didn't stand a chance against you. Dude, were you just lighting up somewhere in that grass? I could use the skills of a man like you. An hey, honest now. working man like me can't compare with someone like you. But you can definitely help me with a problem I've been having. Uh. My name is Shen. I'm the first gravedigger here, 
It's my job to look over the necropolis and make sure all the <laughs> peaceful souls are laid to rest. Oh my gosh, we have a stoner here, folks. What do you want? I've got to dig the holes, fill them, and balance the books and everything. Nice, proper burials. <laughs> but now, with all these ghosts rising again, I've got problems. You do tell. No one seems to want to stay dead, and I can't go refunding all the burial money to all the families of the ghosts now. I can't afford it. So... I just want you to do a little job for me. Nothing hard. Just put the ghosts back where they belong. Quiet them down a bit. But there'll be a little bit in it for you as well, don't worry. Can't have you going away empty-handed now, can we? <laughs> oh boy. So, what do you say? I'm calling this guy U I W Groundskeeper Willie. You are Groundskeeper Willie. How long has this been going on? Well, forever. There's always someone who doesn't rest too easy in their grave. <laughs> Not here, anyway. Every couple of years, some ghost would rise up and the monks would come and put him down. But now... Now they're coming up all over the place. The last few years, they've been becoming more and more common. And more of a problem as well. <laughs> Especially for me. They don't take too kindly when I try to, uh, tidy up their coffins and things. But it also means I can't use those areas of the necropolis. It's too dangerous now. So, you interested? Why do I have a feeling that Death's Hand has something to do with all of this? I, I just have a hunch. Why are all these spirits causing trouble? Trouble? <laughs> well, they've always been trouble. Every few years, one would act up and we'd have to have some monks come by and put them down. But now... Now they're coming up all over the place. The last few years they've been becoming more and more common. And more of a problem as well. <laughs> Especially for yeah, me. I already so, And what makes you think I can do this? I've seen you fight. You put that spirit down good and proper. Better than the monks who used to come here even. I reckon you've had training in this sort of thing. <laughs> but you don't look like a monk, so you probably don't have their scruples about money either. I, uh, come by a lot of valuables in my line of work. I can pay well. So, you interested? Uh, all right, all right. If you'll stop talking to me, because your voice creeps me out, I'll do it. Great! <laughs> now those ghosts will know who's boss around here. <laughs> they just bring themselves back up as fast as I can put them in. I'll give you a reward for any ghosts you take care of. <laughs> you can make good money that way. Dude, lay off the smokes. There are three main ghosts to deal with. Miss Chan, Merchant Bai, and Mr. Ren. I'll give you a reward for each, of course. I know a bit about them, but not that much. Hmm. If you need a little something to give you an extra edge, uh, I'm sure I can part with some trinkets I've... found. I mean, it's not like they'll need them anymore. <laughs> are you- are you dealing? Is, is he trying to deal stuff with me? Um... Don't do drugs, boys and girls. Don't do drugs. Um... It's horrible that you've been stealing from the dead. Eh? It's not like they need any of that anymore. <laughs> Feel some compassion for them, do you? Maybe you don't have what it takes to do my job.
I, I said I will do your job unless I feel like something's... I don't know. For now, I'll do your job. Then you're no better than me. We both just do the best we can with what we're given, so let's just leave it at that. Is there anything else you wanted? Um... I want to talk about one of your troubling, troublesome ghosts. What about them? Tell me about Ms. Chan. Ah, Miss Chan. A tragedy, really, and one that happens all too often. It's always the pretty ones who go. She died in childbirth, and, and the baby died with her. Her family put her in the family plot along with her son. She came up again recently, looking for revenge on me. Wait, on you? She seems to think that I killed her baby, or took it, or, or something. Huh. Maybe she saw me take away the body, but she won't believe me. Every time I go near, she tries to kill me. You don't say. That's valuable retail space over there. Tell me what you know about her baby. Her baby? Not much. It's in one of the plots there, I'm sure. You can find it if you look. Hmm, uh, it was a long time ago. I, I don't even remember what its name was. Huh. Hmm, but it was short, I know that. Definitely less than three words. But, sorry, that's really all I remember. Okay. Anything else you want to know about the ghosts? This is interesting stuff. How about Merchant Bai? Ah, that one. He's mad, I tell you. Mad with fear, though, of what I have no idea. You'd think he'd be grateful, considering what's gone on here. He was murdered in an alleyway. Hmm. Happens a lot in the poorer districts. They eventually caught his murderers and they were beheaded. I know. I put them in the ground myself, dead as can be. Let's hope so. You'd think he'd be grateful with them dead and gone, but up he comes the very next day, screaming his head off. He's driving the customers away. Screaming his head, head off? He's like nearly headless Nick. I'll see what I can do. Well, see if you can't do something about him quick. I'm too spooked to go in that area anymore. I need those plots to... <laughs> honor some ancestors. <laughs> I'm getting a really bad... Anything else you want to know about the ghosts? I'm getting a really bad vibe about this guy, folks. Really bad vibe. All right, and tell me about Mr. Ren. He was buried by his wife a short while ago. I don't know what killed him. The family wouldn't talk about it. But his face was bloated like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> hmm. His wife's still around, though. She won't visit since he came up. Every time she gets near, he starts screaming incoherently, and he's out of it for days. Nothing near him is safe. Tell me about his wife. His wife? She's still around in town, I think. She lives down in the market district near the entrance to the Black Leopard School. Why would you want to see her, though? She's already buried him. Hmm. <laughs> Digging through the ashes, is that it? Good luck. She's still hung up on him. Hmm. Anything else you want to know about the ghosts? No, Groundskeeper Willie. Not right now. Oh, well, if you do find one, put it back in the ground. That's when you'll get your money. <laughs> My money? <laughs> is there anything else? I want to ask you some questions about the necropolis. Eh? What is it you want to know? Tell me about Death's Hand. Never mention that name near me again. In fact, never mention that name within a mile of me. Just by saying his name, you could bring his wrath down on us. Death's Hand is Voldemort. Now, just ask something else or leave me be. Uh, he who must not be named. Tell me about the Lotus Assassins. Shh. Don't talk about them. They have ears everywhere, even among the dead. Oh, you coward. The Emperor's secret assassins, they call them. As silent and mysterious as death. Which is exactly what's in store for us if we keep talking about them. 
They say no one who's crossed them has ever lived to tell of it. Oh. And I'm not going to test the truth of that rumor. Just talk about something else. I've lived through to tell the tale. I don't know about you, but... And tell me about the necropolis. Well, it, it's my life's work, that's for sure. And with the way all these spirits have been rising up, it'll probably be my death's work as well. <laughs> <laughs> At the center of it all is the Emperor's tomb. A monstrosity, I tell you. Completely unnecessary. But the Emperor's word is law. And they never even finished the thing. Why didn't they finish it? Strange things have been going on here. Ghost troubles and such. I don't know, but it seems like it'll soon be too dangerous for even me to stay here. Alright. Tell me about the ghost troubles. Damn things won't stay dead. You know, you've dealt with them. I put them down and they get right back up. It's like they don't have nowhere else to go but back in my damn house. Wait, they end up in your house? Sorry. I get a little worked up over it all. Had one moaning around the ceiling all last night. Chased it away, but... The newer ones seem to be getting worse as well. Very puzzling. Anything else you wanted to know? Curious, sir, and curious, sir. I'll ask some other time. Eh, suit yourself. Don't shush me. Let me see what you're selling. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, uh, a few things here and there that they, the... they just sort of fall into my hands. <laughs> they don't need them anymore. I, I don't want. I don't want any drugs, sir. None of. I don't want any of your drugs. I think it's wrong that you've been stealing from the graves here. Huh? It's. Yeah. Okay. I want nothing to do with you. <laughs> sure. Whatever. But you know I pay well for my jobs, and I have plenty to sell. If you want what I can offer, you always know where to find me. Um... Let's see... I was kind of curious to see what he was selling. Can I at least... is he over here? Help! One of those damn spirits came up right in my backyard. The stupid thing won't let anyone get by. It's got my tools and everything. Just kill the damn thing. But I wanted to look at your wares first. Haven't you killed it yet? Oh my I goodness. can't do anything without my tools. All right. I can't get you your reward for anything else either till it's gone. Just kill it. Alright, well, well, wait for a second because I need to go talk to some... I want to talk to that wife real quick. Um blah 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 blah. I wanna talk to that wife real quick. Um by the Black Leopard School, which is back in the other market in the market district. Go to the market district. So he's by the, she is by the Black Leopard School, near the entrance to the Black Leopard School, the wife of one of the ghosts. I don't think she's in here, no. Nope. Where is she? Um... Commoner, commoner. I don't think it's any of the commoners. Merchant by Necropolis. Well, then, what did the this destroying all three of the ghosts? Well, Shen really, really the ultimate is destroying all three of the ghosts. Um. Maybe she's near the entrance of the Black Leopard School from the Black Leopard School map. I don't know. Oh, is she Mrs. McGonagall? Hold on. I mean, that might explain why she's so cranky all the time. I don't know. 
Is she whispering Willow? Out, out, out! The dining hall nope. is a mess, and I doubt you're here to help me clean. Nope, nope, not, not so much. Not so much. If he was, if someone was married to her, I think they would want to stay dead. They would want to stay in the ground. <laughs> Personally. All right. Come on, Angelus. It's not Lena. Talk to Junda if you'd like no, to buy some Lena. buns. And it's not perfect. Prefect Hello at there, all. and thanks again for all your help. Scholar Song Tao and I owe you a great debt of gratitude. Um, commoner, commoner. We are not as backwards as the Outlander thinks. Surely he knows that now. Yes, because I chased him away. Nobody? Commoner. Huh. I guess I can't talk to his wife. I thought I could. Alright, sorry guys for the waste of time. I really thought after that clue that I'd be able to get some more insight from that ghost's wife, but apparently not. So I'm just going to keep going. Gate of the Golden Way. Emperor Hut. I guess I should go and take care of clearing out that gravedigger's house of whatever spirit's haunting it now. I, I'm wondering if I can talk to each of these ghosts and see if they have anything to say for what... if they have anything to say for themselves for what they're doing. What exactly is this thing over here? It's a map? I guess... Exit to the city. Gravedigger Shen. Alright, a yellow, red, and blue, and this one's green. Okay. Alright, let's get rid of this ghost problem. Ooh, but what's over here? Scholars. Yeah, it's alright. What's this thing? Oh, it's a lamp, I think. Stone the mortar! Whoa! Fire! Fire! Perfect. Alright, are you- I hope you're happy, Groundskeeper Willy. It's dead then? Heh! <laughs> Good. I knew that old bag would try to come back for me someday, but she wouldn't have guessed I'd have someone like you on my side. Um, you knew that ghost? <laughs> yeah, I guess you could say that. She was my mother-in-law. Never once in her life did she say a kind word to me, and now she tried to keep at me even in death. Charming. You got what you deserved! Do you hear me? You deserved it! Wow. <laughs> but any good job deserves a reward, of course. Here you go. She had some nice things in her grave, too. <laughs> Since she's gone, I guess she won't be keeping me from them anymore. <laughs> All right. You're married? That was exactly what I was thinking, Angelus. You're you're married? Ugly people need love too. I wasn't gonna say that. Now go and find those ghosts I told you about. <laughs> Can't get a good day's work done with them still around. The mournful soul. The mournful soul. Mind plus three, spirit plus three, body minus five. Mm -hmm. yeah. I kind of like what I'm wearing right now. The grave digging business sure is a killer. <laughs> oh, you are a riot. What do you need? Let's see what you're selling. <laughs> well, let's see what you have. Monk gem, superior gem, charm gem, inferior gem, inferior monk gem. 
Meh. Keep it. I don't need any of it. Come on, OnStar. Let's, let's go and... I guess this map is telling us that there's... I guess one of these is the fortress and one of these is the tomb of the emperor and one of these is... I don't know. Oh, I get it. The yellow one is the house made of straw, the blue one is the house made of blue sticks, and the red one is the house made of bricks. Okay, we're gonna go visit the three little pigs now. That makes more sense to me. Whoa. Huh. Oh boy. That kinda scared me. Not gonna lie. Who's over there? Alright, more flying things. Oh, and he's blocking. I'm gonna try out my iron ball. I'm over here. That's right, and I smack him around. You're going down. Nice. Come on, in there. That's cool, I actually charge with this one. That's nice. Very cool, I like that. Good stuff, Angelus. You too, OnStar. Very nice swordsmanship. Okay, so do I want to go... Do I want to go this way or this way? Alright. Well, I'm left-handed, as I said. So I'm going to go to the left door first, because of that. Headstone. Oh wow, you meet Angelus, did you just not destroy a headstone? Good, good, Angelus. You're learning, you're learning, you're learning restraint. I'm very pleased. Very, very pleased. Oh. This is This is the tomb of Jin Zin. G of G Zin. But first I'm gonna go to the left. I'm gonna explore the left and make my way back. Unless this door is locked, which it probably is. Bones. The ultimate monk gem? The ultimate monk gem? Spirit plus 12. <gasps> wow. Ooh, this is getting hard. Well, it looks like we are... Huh. Um human enemies. Does that that mean that ghosts don't count? Maybe I'll swap the lucky hand for the ultimate monk gem for now. Because that's really powerful. Plus 12. And I'll put the lucky hand back when we're actually fighting non-spirits. Like human creatures. Because I feel like it only affects those. Ooh. What? Hey! What, uh, hey! Be careful in the Lotus Assassin Fortress. They may not... They're... Let me in. Okay. Good, good, good. Monk's Gem of Forethought. Trap sprung. Oh, Angela, see what hap see what you get. That's what you get for trying to kick down the fort the uh, headstone. Flawed Scholar Gem. Look at me looting these graves. I guess I am not not any better than than Groundskeeper Willie. Ya used me, Skinner. Ya used me. Healing takes up so much. Uses up so much, um, chi. Oh, Good. hey, it's Jin Lin. Came. Wait here. There's a small hole in the wall, just around the side. I'll sneak in and open the door from the inside. Cool. Go ahead. Thank there. you, my dear. The ghosts are just beyond the door. They haven't noticed me yet. All right, off with you now. Um, I'm not worried. I've fought tougher things than ghosts. I think I'll just wait here for you to clear the ghosts. The artifact is supposed to be in the room at the end of the tomb. Once you're there, I'll catch up with you. Uh, okay. If you think it's safe, I mean. I'll clear a path. It'll be fine. Okay. Come on, OnStar. A 
mummy. All right. Iron paw. Yeah. Yeah. Iron paw. This is the end. Take that. Oh, that's so awesome. I can knock him down. Bury them with my rocks. Bury them back to their graves. Or bury them in a tree. Nice! Stone mortar. I'm doing so awesome in combat now, guys. So awesome in combat. Iron paw. Nice. Were you just standing over there? Uh, all right, OnStar. All right. More mummies, right? Fireball. Throw some rocks. Fireball. You can't smack, smack. Haha. Stone mortar. Fireball. Oh, you missed. Come on, Angela, he's right there. Good job. Uh oh, Monstar is having issues. Nice. What the? Come on, Angelus. Actually. Uh... Stone Immortal. 